let's get another 307 watt hours into this Blue Eddy AC50B. Just out of curiosity, I want to see if this King's 24 amp hour power pack can plug directly into the charge port of this Blue Eddy and essentially turn this into a expansion pack for the Blue Eddy AC50B. This will work for your, your smaller power packs as well. I'm sure this will work for many other small portable power packs. But today, I want to just directly plug this into the PV port of this Blue Eddy and turn this into a expansion battery using this cigarette lighter port to XT60 charge cable that's provided with the AC50B. Let's get into it and see if we can get this to work. All right, let's hang out together and see how this all works. Got this fully charged and I fully discharged this last night. So we're looking at 0%. We've got the little warning light up the top there, if you can see, flashing. This all worked perfectly, it's shut down nice. That was a good little test last night. No problems at all. But what I wanna do is directly plug this into the port and then see how well it charges. Um, I'm sure I won't get the full amount of this King's pack into the Blue Eddy simply because this voltage will drop to a point where it won't allow any more charge into the Blue Eddy. So after that happens, I want to plug in this boost converter and then I can get the remaining battery percentage into the Blue Eddy. But for now, I want to see how much percent I can get in just with plugging it in directly. See if it works at all. There we go, it's working, yeah. How cool is that, guys? Oh geez, almost 100 watts. That's actually pretty impressive at the moment. Almost 100 watts going into this Blue Eddy. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how much percent we can get into this thing. Essentially, all together, we're adding an extra 70% battery capacity into this. And that will total with the 448 and the 307 watt hours, that will total 775 watt hours between the two. So I think that's really cool. Right, still 96 watts. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for a while and I'll come back to you. We'll get a bit of an update on how this goes throughout the, the next hour or so. We're about 40 minutes in and, oh, oh geez, I didn't even realize I had the light on. That may have affect, <laughs> that may affect the results a little bit, but um, never mind. 40 minutes in, we're one bar down, so we've got three bars left and we got 16% into the Blue Eddy. Yeah, I, silly me, I should have checked that, but so far, so good. We're still putting in 96 watts, so no need to, to put the boost converter on just yet. So yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Right, we're two bars left on the King's power pack, so we're halfway through this power pack. We are 39% and 94 watts still going from the pack into the Blue Eddy, so that's really, really good. It means that um, we don't, at the moment, we don't need to put any boost converter up onto this, so there we go, just 
kicked over to 40%. This is an hour and 50 minutes in the video. So almost two hours. And we've got 40% directly off this. So it's pretty cool. All right. We're uh, one bar now flashing and 52%. And 11 watts, so the, as I suspected, the wattage as the battery drops, we are 11.1 volts now. As the voltage drops, the wattage input will drop heaps, but still, just by connecting this to your blue eddy, blue eddy, we got 52% charge, which is really, really impressive, because um, obviously this cable comes with the AC50B when you purchase it. I do have a follower and a good guy that's supported me along my journey, um, Mark from RCU in the Shed. Check out his channel if you want. He's a um, great, great bloke. Does RC videos. Hang out with him while he tests his RC trucks out. Certain um, like crawlers. He's got a pretty cool little setup where he um, where he takes his RC crawlers through uh, over rocks and makes little mini courses up and that. So, yeah, definitely check out his channel. He's been a great support among many others. But I want to mention Mark today because I know he has the Blue Eddy AC50B and the King's 24 amp hour power pack. So, now you know, Mark, that a fully charge kings power pack will get 52 percent into your blue eddy just directly connecting it in you've already got the cable so that's very good to know obviously if you just wanted 12 volts or your usb a's and c's um, just use your kings power pack if this runs out but if you're still after the ac power then yeah you can get 52 percent extra obviously when this is charging for your solar input or for your ac you could be using one of these usb-c ports to charge this back up so yeah it really does if you had a 200 watt solar panel it really does boost your capacity a fair bit because a 200 watt solar panel five hours you'll get a thousand watts on a really good day this only takes 448 watt hours so you could use that extra solar power for the USB to charge this King's power pack up and then at night if you do need that extra power you can put that back into your Blue Eddy or just use the King's power pack so it does work quite well together this little power pack with the amount of solar that you can, can get with the Blue Eddy AC50B. So I think that works out pretty cool. I'm gonna now, as we've got 11 volts left, I'm gonna now put the boost converter on and see if we can't get a little bit more power into this. This is a boost converter or a step up converter. Um, this you can get these reasonably cheap eBay Amazon stuff like that this is a 12 volt input 9 volt to 20 volts and an output of 24 volts this is a 10 amp hour converter 10, 10 amp converter with 240 watts output that sort of matches pretty nicely with these Blue Eddy um, small Blue Eddy products so we'll get this plugged in see whether we can get a little bit more juice but just keep in mind just plug it in directly is still pretty decent 50% 52% may not even get any extra at all no here we go just cut out so it looks like we don't even need one of these we can just connect this directly into the Blue Eddy and we can get 52% I 
going to wrap this video up now. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Once again, if you're interested, check out Mark's channel, RCU in the Shed. I'll put links in my description. He's a great, great bloke. Um, yeah, go check him out, hang out with him, watch him um, run his RCs around his little course. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.